guys welcome to our lesson today uh, today's lesson will be using the, using the um, the move to so the move to is actually this icon the move icon here or the letter w on your key on your keyboard that actually enables us to move in a 3d space okay let me just turn this off that enables us to move in, in a 3d space so what we need to know here because it's a 3d program like i said earlier so we need to bear in mind that it moves in three dimensional which is uh, um green which is the x y and z axis so as you can see on here let me just move this a little bit so you're able to see as you can see on here this has three axes it's got the green red and blue which is the x y and z my rule of thumb is uh is actually X Y Z corresponding to R G B okay X being R which is red Y being G which is green Z being B which is blue so X Y Z R G B is my rule of thumb don't forget that so coming into um, our view here the move tool enables us to move within the 3d space there's a way you can actually click on the middle button the the little box here and move within the 3d space but this method is a, it, uh, can be a bit confusing because um you don't know exact because you can't really you're not actually inside into it you're looking at it through the computer through the screen so you know you not uh hundred percent accurate with um exactly where it is so in that case, what you want to do is press the uh, space on your keyboard to go into orthographic view, and that way you will be able to actually see exactly what you're doing. So if we click on here, this one only goes uh, two ways up, uh, three ways up, left and right. But if you look at the top view, if I go up and down, the top view doesn't tell you exactly whether it's going up or down only uh, the perspective side and front will tell you okay again if we're going if we are going up uh, we're going up and down it won't tell you if we're going left and right it, um, left and right it won't tell the front won't tell you so this is something that you have to play around with to get more comfortable with so in that case if we actually have to, if we want to um, bring this little pyramid on here on this chord or let's say so you so we all on the same level if we want to bring it right next to this little house this corner here all we have to do is taking it there okay there but if we take it there if we let, let's look at it from the perspective view we go to perspective view as you can see it's below surface we so we pretty much it's underground pretty much so if it's underground if we try to take it up through the perspective view and go into here we'll find something wrong which will be uh it's not actually where we want it it's not actually where we want it to be so what we want what the easiest way to actually point to place it is actually taking it exactly where we want it make sure it's on surface and look at all the three you know forget about this this bad boy here look at these three that way you'll be able to tell exactly where your your object is and you will be yeah you'll be more comfortable you find that your work is you you end up finding yourself working a little bit more efficiently so going um let's double click on uh, to the move to to bring back the two settings the two settings is another um cool feature that we've got on here this enables us to actually, in more complex uh, and accurate animation that we may want to do, we we'll might we may want to place an object according to set certain uh, coordinates instead of actually moving it around through the three D space to actually find the coordinates. There's a way you can actually just click on the custom axis orientation and actually key the orientation the um, coordinates in in this in these boxes, which is the x y and sorry the X Y and Z and um, 
yeah, that's, these are pretty much um, these are cool features that you've got in our uh, two settings. So let's uh, let's close the two settings. Another good thing that let's go into perspective view first. Tidy it up a little bit. Bring this bad boy where we want him to be. Yeah, right there. Fix him up. Zoom in a little bit. So we're in control. Yeah. So we've got that. There's a way we can actually rubber band mask the whole lot. Okay. And actually move it as a whole. This actually moves everything as a whole. And another thing that we might want to do is actually um, that you might want to, you, you will be interested in, is actually being able to snap to grid. As you can see here, it's um, going smoothly. And if we activate snap to grid, it will snap into grid like that. And bear in mind, um, how do you know that it's snapping to grid? If uh, you look at this little, there's a box in the middle, there's a box square in, in there. So if we want to snap to grid, we can actually click on the snap to grid, this two here. Snap to grid, click on that, it changes to a circle. That means uh, it's actually in snap to grid mode, okay? So it means it will be snapping to grid, like that at every little junction like a full little you know what I mean every it snaps onto the little square here not in the middle but in the little square to the little grid thingy yeah that's how that works and uh, that's pretty much all you need to know about the move tool it doesn't change it stays that way practice uh, get comfortable with the move tool and um, if you're comfortable with it and you're happy with it, you can move into a, you can progress into something else, into whatever it is that we're going to look at now. But for now, make sure you're comfortable with that one. It doesn't change. The grid tool doesn't change. It's just what, what I've taught you now, and that's how it will be. Be comfortable with it and come back to the, to the uh, go back to the next, go to advance to the next tutorial. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.